Hi, it's Johnny P. Um, the, where I am is absolutely amazing. This is, I, I just randomly met someone and now I'm here. Um, this is a, a, a cottage that was built in 1824. 1824. And the history of this place is incredible, incredibly sad. Uh, this is the place of um, uh, white people. I think 11 were massacred in a, in a conflict, the indigenous. Um, there's people, um, there's shotgun balls um, in the wall still from a shootout from a, a, a famous Tasmanian bushranger. Um, uh, the, the blacksmith area is still just all there. I know people say everything just left behind, but this all original stuff here, plus a bit of stuff because the, 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 the guy who owns this place, you know, lived here for a couple of years, I think. But it's all just still original stuff. And he's just telling me a disturbing story about they caught someone rabbiting here or, or poaching or something back then, and they hanged him in the fireplace. Um, there's also a smokehouse area. I, I'm blown away. I don't get blown away by history much, but. This is absolutely incredible, and we're going to have a look. Um, apparently, it's there's been murders, suicides. As I said, there was a, a, a lot of white people were massacred here. Um, you know, the the history of this place is phenomenal. We're talking 1824. So I'm going to take you for a look. I've been told I can ghost hunt it. Apparently, it's incredibly haunted, um, evil haunted. So this will be the day one. I just want to show you, it's, inside it's got a, a vibe man, like, there's some crazy stuff's happening here. This is what the owner has told me, and it's actually documented. So it's not just a, you know, a story passed down from the times, it's actually documented that they caught someone on the property getting rabbits, um, and they must have put him hanging down the chimney or something, and basically hanged him in this fireplace. So obviously his legs and that would have been hanging down there. They think they burnt him. Um, that's crazy. So, yeah, imagine that. You walk in here and there's a waist and legs hanging there and obviously burnt the crap out of him too. There's people outside. So a lot of this stuff, you know, if you, if you see newer stuff, it'll be from the owners. Um, who lived here for a while, but that's an old, old fireplace. Well, 1824, and some poor guy got hanged in there and burnt. Sounds to me like they hanged him in there and tortured him. And this place has got a vibe. This place has seen some stuff. So, you know, remember this was a business. So you had the smokehouse. This might have been a shop front or a bar back then. Um, you know, now this is interesting. Let's see if you can see it. These are the shotgun balls from a famous Tasmanian bushranger who robbed this place. Um, he turned up on his horse and robbed this, the businesses, uh, the, the blacksmith. And somehow he's inside. We fight it from a window. But these are the shotgun ball blasts and a door where he, he let a round off inside. 
as I've been told by the owner. That's a pretty amazing bit of history there. And this place has a vibe, like I'm not just saying it. And spider. Get on. Get out. Move. There's not many places that are creepy during the day, but this place is. It's incredible. Like, it's very hard to show on video what this place is like, but the vibe um, is just amazing. I don't know what this log room was. Might have been another bathroom or something. But 1824, this was, I think, started to be built, so. I mean, it's got some history, man. And the, the paranormal activity here is meant to be insane. As I said, yeah, the owner lived here for a couple of years. So, hence, he's got a fridge. But these rooms would have been used for many different things throughout time. Yeah, I'm just very lucky the owner invited me out. This might have been, I don't know what this is, but sheep coming in now. Go up here and have a look. So obviously it's been used for a lot of storage. Some of this stuff is very old.
too much. And a lot of these bits of wood and stuff would be from, you know, here. We're a fair way out in the middle of nowhere. So there's an old pulley. Gotta be careful up here because the wheel boards are a bit rotten. No pulley. Might have been used for um, hauling up hay. Um, you know, store, storing hay and stuff up here. There's a bit of rope over there. But you got to remember, back then it was rough times. There were so many. Like, this place was held up by bushrangers. As you can see, the shotgun marks in the wall. There'd be... There would have been murder, suicide. Plus, you got the clash with the um, indigenous Aboriginals, who were freaking this area. There's a lot of food here. It's one of the wettest places in Tasmania, and it's it's very hard to show you through a video camera, like the feeling of just actually being able to access something like this um, you can just feel the history in the walls but this place uh, you know people who know me well uh, there's a vibe to this place let me tell you that right now telling me when he lived out here for two years that he said you know he's not really into paranormal or anything like that but he basically said yeah some messed up stuff happened so whatever that means now this was the old smokehouse you can actually still smell the smoke which is pretty amazing And this is where they used to smoke all the meats um, and sell them. I'm just trying to show you everything so there might be people out here with a lot more knowledge than me. You might see something that you might know what it is. So obviously all this stuff is just the owner stuff left here. But and this is where they used to hang the meats. You can see by the roof how black everything is, all the wood's black and that. So I don't know how they did it. On the ground. It's sooty. But I can smell the smoke. It's pretty amazing. You can see all the old chains. There's some ducks. There's the old chains. These chains would be old. And these were all the old chains they used to hang the meat on, and the hooks. Old spoon. Old tazzy, the um, cray pot. An amazing room. And what's weird, it's not weird, but I can smell the smoke. I grew up and my dad used to smoke a lot of meat, but not on this level. So as you know, back then, no fridges, nothing. So it smoked meat. That all the original stuff from the place. And, and I'm, I'm telling you guys, like, it's incredible to be here. Like, it's, I'm, I'm humbled. 
for being loud. Under the stairs. Nice little old cupboard. Being told, and I, I can go somewhere if I want. And we all know what that means. That means, of course. I've seen this sign once before. When I was in a um, my friends were into the house and they were living in a bad area. And um, they had a sign up saying no escape. And there was some murders and stuff happened down there, and then we mates, the poor, they went off to Launceston for a bit and they come back and their house had been burnt down with all the stuff in it. Up here, you know. It's amazing. You know, I'm no paranormal expert, but I do believe in residual energy being trapped. See, this looks fairly new. So, but these walls here are original. So obviously like one of these kids must have stayed in this room. So yeah, as I said, there was 11 women, mainly women and children, I think, that were massacred on these grounds. The men were out hunting or something like that, and the conflict with the indigenous, um, the indigenous come in and uh, massacred.
Santos.